Hello, everybody. Now I've had the unique opportunity to research and extensively investigate what is considered unexplainable, paranormal, on the Uintah Basin and in the Uintah Mountains. This includes having been on both Skinwalker Ranch and Blind Frog Ranch. Blind Frog Ranch offers its own unexplainable occurrences separate from Skinwalker Ranch. Blind Frog Ranch also poses the possibility of being directly tied into uniquely important aspects of Native American culture that looks to include not just the Ute and other tribes of the Utah Territory area, but quite possibly the Aztec and the Toltec. The ranch is located north of La Pointe, Utah. It is owned by Dwayne Ollinger and one additional silent partner. To get to it, you must cross through BLM land. It requires you to have a 4x4 or all-terrain vehicle to make it through this extremely rugged and remote area of the Uintah Mountains. Once there, there is very little creature comforts to be found. There are no bathrooms, just the small shack for meetings and a second smaller shack for equipment near the healing pond, which is the entrance to the underground cavity or mine system found on Blind Frog Ranch. There are ancient markers pointing to the area which contained the underground caverns mine system found on the property. The formations were manipulated by unknown person or persons long ago. When an attempt to enter the underground cavern system through the hillside failed, Dwayne dug down, penetrating into the cavity below. The system is completely submerged. It cannot be drained because of issues dealing with the nearby creek system and Big Brother the state of Utah. Along with what Duane states are healing ponds originating out of the cavity system below, there are supposed areas of strange energy where its source is still unknown and currently being investigated. This is the location where Duane cooks the nearby sand in the cooker that you see here, sometimes having it turned into metal. This ancient smelter is near Duane's property, located on a nearby creek. It shows that someone was there before, taking precious ore and making bullion locally before being stored for a future trip somewhere south. It seems quite possible that the cash mine where this bullion was located lays hidden on the Blind Frog Ranch boundaries. Duane has drilled deep into the ground, locating blue dirt in his energy zone. I can attest to technology failure near and above this site. Locating the energy source, dry cavity entrance, and past mines or cache sites have become my crux. There is so much happening that it's sometimes difficult to prioritize the research and investigating while being boots on the ground. Here we are seen using a 3D ground imager to see what is below at this location near the pond. This gold metal detector that you see here in this photo has assisted in locating an old Spanish coin. That provided historic insight as to who was there before us and at what exact location. Dwayne wants us to tell the world his story about this unique site. The other things, such as gold riches, are only secondary to him. The area is rugged, full of bears, mountain lion, and even two known wolves, always having to watch your six because of it. There is a site that looks to have been occupied here for thousands of years. Many treasures have come out of this site. Here you see Chris Bartell excavating from the dirt that is full of charcoal. The location looked to have been the main cooking site during final occupation. I believe it is possible that the sand has covered up a cave Initial ground imaging shows this possibility. Chris Bartell was security for Bass and Robert Bigelow. He worked on Skinwalker Ranch for six years and is extremely knowledgeable about what is taking place on the Uintah Basin as a whole. Remember the phenomena that occurs on the basin encompasses a large area. When I say phenomena, I am talking unexplainable occurrences of many types. Chris located an arrowhead dating into the archaic period. An archeological arrowhead chart was used to match the look of the object to a similar projectile point. The chart stated approximately 8,500 years old. 
that would mean an archaic occupation at this site and would fit with the amount of time needed to fill the entrance of the cave up with sediment deposits seen in the prior two slides. Others have been on the property for years, finding all kinds of treasures. Here we have the wonderful opportunity to speak with one of the locals. He presented his findings to Duane and Chris. Thousands of trade beads were found over the years in the same site you saw Chris excavating out of. Here are some of the treasures found. Note that the brown khaki colored beads are known to have originated from Venice, Italy. Yeah, that's right, Venice, Italy. They quit being made in 1890 when the creator of the beads you see here died. Blind Frog Ranch itself is full of so many natural wonders. I wanted to note this small mound at the property. It continues to provide atypical readings below it and will require future investigation to see what is buried beneath. Multiple types of metals and cavities below are seen in the data points. This yellow colored dirt has been discussed by treasure hunters since the mid 1800s. An important mine was supposedly located at this colored dirt. Not much of this colored dirt exists in the area but it sure does on Blind Frog Ranch. This location shows signs of having had Native American occupation around it for a lengthy period of time in the past. Could it also mark something below? Something the indigenous people of the time wanted to be near. Many Spanish and Mexican miners would mark a treasure cache by placing rocks all around a tree. The cache was usually buried below or near the site. Recently, this location was disturbed by unknown person or persons. Initial readings showed nothing currently below, so maybe it's a marker with the treasure cache nearby. There are several interesting formations on the property that have yet to be fully investigated. There are many caves on the property. Some are returning interesting data points and will require additional investigation, possibly excavation. This cave was recently located and is large. It drops back to an unknown destination after the first 30 feet straight back. Entering and investigating are an absolute future priority. Caves, caves, and more caves. Area looks ordinary, right? Then you find markers have been created pointing to a location nearby. Who created these and why? Two more caves are what they are pointing to. Are they also ancient mines? And this spot must be investigated and dug out. This may very well be the dry entrance to what is below. This area too has unusual growth and the dirt below looks to have been removed at one time and later filled back in. This spot also coincides with unusual underground 3D imaging data points I took. This too may be a dry entrance to what has been hidden below. Here are two of the magnetometer systems in use on the ranch. They provide magnetic readings that could signal a cavity or object below ground. These are my metal detection units that are capable of looking deep into the ground and providing clues as to what is buried below. Here I'm with 3D ground imaging being used at the known cavern systems below Blind Frog Ranch. And just an FYI, the ancient mines are all around the property. This was still teeming with quartz veins running throughout the walls and ceilings. Ice caves are just north of the property. So I believe the cavern cavity systems are long, traveling throughout the mountains and the basin below. I believe they travel to and just slightly past Skinwalker Ranch. Thanks for taking the time out to view this video. Please stay tuned for future postings on my YouTube channel. Follow the channel if you can, 
and I'll continue to post about ancient sites and cultures, Blind Frog Ranch, Skinwalker Ranch, and The Unexplainable. Um, and also at some time soon, I will also begin discussing my findings on the giants that lived in the Americas. Many of them were right here on the Uintah Basin.